What's going on everybody, Rob here. This is a carburetor, a Chinese carburetor over, off of a Kohler K241. This is the side that mounts to the engine. And this is the side that the uh, breather goes on, the air filter, right? This is the actual governor gear. This is the governor for the Kohler K241. People delete these and they don't use these, but this actually is connected inside the motor so you don't over rev the motor and a lot of people delete these and just use this for their throttle when actually this is part of their throttle right here to kind of control it all right so if you see in the front right here this is this one is for your choke okay this is for your choke that that that's when you started some people open their choke all the way believe it or not mine's a set where my choke has to be like that where i open it up right there all right but my carburetor runs better when it's closed my engine okay so here's your throttle right here this is your throttle and this is instead of going straight to your throttle cable on your dash this is supposed to go to your governor gear right so uh when you're when you're improving it when you're opening it up it'll pull this this way and then it'll open it this way but there will be spring tension in between with your motor runner with the governor okay so people want to start with the adjustments on these let's go over this this is your fuel input right here, right? Your fuel input goes from right here. Let me get all this off right here. Two. That's the float. Look at that little brass piece. It goes up and down, and that goes up and down with the float, right? And it goes up and down. When this goes up, your cup fills up with gas. Your cup fills up with gas. It, it, it only fills up enough where the float is even and then it shuts off your fuel intake so this little float right here comes in from down here so if you're not getting gas to your carburetor but you're getting gas to this hose that little float right there is stuck right okay let me get these off so this is where your fuel comes into your carburetor right here that's where your fuel comes into your carburetor where does that attach to that attaches to right here this is your fuel intake right here from the bottom right there right so when this is in the gas is coming in through the side if there's too much gas your float is up and it stops the gas from pumping in if there's not a get enough gas the gas goes down lets that little brass piece out and gas comes in here then it gets sucked up through the bottom of that into the carburetor right so this is the part that mounts up against the thing right so there's the choke this lets some air in this lets your air in but the bulk of your air in but now this right here also controls some air intake because you got a little hole in the front right there you see that little hole back there then you got a little hole in the back let me see where i can find that what side is that on i'm looking backwards through it upside down there's a little hole right there see the little hole right there two little holes right there so this is your air intake control some more of your air right this is your fuel this is your air this is your choke right here predominantly most of your air coming through the breather right so then you wonder what this one is for this is to have it the slowest possible so it's not even hitting it right now i don't got that butterfly on right but so when this is all the way open and then this is all the way closed but when you it's all the way closed you enter you don't want your carburetor your engine to shut off so you screw this in all the way where you need it where when this is all the way closed it's hitting against this and then this way your carburetor your engine will shut off that's the slowest rpm you you got it where you're comfortable with it now here's one thing when putting one of these on this is the choke this is your fuel intake your air intake your minimal uh where you want your your throttle to be your 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 fuel line intake how the gas goes in right there but don't dial this all in yet until you got your air filter on because that's going to restrict some of the air coming in so when i start off putting this on this is a chinese carburetor right you bog these all the way down this one right here and this one right here i just screw all the way down then i back to one two one two that is my base okay 
this right here is a gasket that goes on here and why do you need a nice fresh gasket or why do you need that clean because if this isn't tight if this isn't all the way tight to the motor right here you're going to get air in here and it's going to throw everything off so you need a nice gasket because you don't need any extra air coming in here right on these chinese carburetors sometimes they run lean or they run rich so what i normally do is lift it up you can see it's even sometimes it'll be like this sometimes it'll be like this you go ahead and you bend see that little piece right there that controls the float up and down you could bend it with a little screwdriver up or down right here i'm pointing to right there bend that up or down and it'll let it stay down like there where it don't let enough gas in or or, or you, it goes really like that where you can flood it with gas if you're not getting gas into your carburetor check that little brass thing because it has to be going up and down that's what's letting gas into the bowl if it's not if it's stuck up top you're not going to get any gas in the bowl okay now i don't know how true this is but this is what i see if i have this all the way open and if i pull this all the way out like backwards my engine dies out some but if this is too far down i get gas shooting out my carburetor but this is down all the way bogged down back to all the way bogged down back to gas right here air right here this is your low idle right here where you want your low idle to okay now this right here at the bottom there's two gaskets one right here that goes in that rail right there you see all the way around that's where that gasket goes in okay then the other one is this gasket and it's built with a shape so you know exactly where it goes now if these two gaskets are not seated right you're not going to get perfectly sealed suction you're going to be off anyways i can't get it on right now anyways so you seat those perfectly right and then you put your bowl on it but when, when you bog it down don't bog it down too tight because the bowl is going to slide then you're going to twist this gasket it's not going to be a rock there's a little rubber gasket that goes on the bolt i don't have the bolt here with me the bolt is in the garage right now okay so if you need to adjust this or clean this out real good i always recommend just getting the kohler rebuild kit instead of buying this chinese carburetor get the kohler rebuild kit now you can back this little pin out right here this is all the kohler rebuild kit really is going to be anyways you can back this little pin out right here oh i can't get it normally i need needles let me see if i get it like this i need needles no. you can back this out and this whole float will come out and that pin let me hold on see i use needle nose to get the pin out and then the float comes down right here and that's the little piece i was telling you about that you could bend up or down to control your float now this right here is what gets stuck okay see there's there's a little loop on there that little loop on that goes into the float and the reason for that is it pulls it up and down it could pull it down so your float don't get stuck in you see it pulls it down so your float don't get stuck in now this is what lets the gasket in so when you take this all apart you spray that really good with carb cleaner you spray this really good with carb cleaner make sure you got it coming out both sides because that's what's bringing gas in here this is what's taking the gas all the way up through this right here at this pin right here and put in the gas in your engine okay now this is the air one so with the carb cleaner you're gonna take this all the way out with the spring and take this all the way out with the spring take this all the way out with the spring and clean them out really good with carb cleaner then put them in bog them down all the way back to this one right here and here this gas one is normally what's going to plug up and gum up your carburetor all right just a little information on the Kohler K241. As you can see, I bought the Chinese one, and guess what? I went back to the Kohler one. It's easier to get the carburetor rebuild kit. Follow my channel, and you'll see a little bit more on it because I'm getting it dialed in right now. The way it's set up is my throttle is not going all the way back low. It's not going all the way back low by itself. And if I force it, this is too far back. We're slowing it down, so I got to adjust this a little bit. And then on the top of these, there's an extra hole. So I'm going to put a spring on this to make sure it pulls to slow it down as much as I can. So it's pulling it to basically try to shut it down. And with this right here, I'm going to get my idle dialed in. All right. 
talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.